In this video, I have two shulker box loader designs and two shulker box unloader designs, perfect for your storage needs. There are timestamps in the description for each design, but without further ado, let's jump right in. Now this is a more compact version of my original design, which you can find here if you want a design that lets you open the shulkers while they're being loaded. Empty shulker boxes go in here, a bunch of the same item goes in here, and out comes shulker boxes that are completely filled. Here are all the materials you'll need for this design. First, make the output for the shulker box loader. This can lead into a water stream, more hoppers, or just a barrel, for example. Then place a honey block on top of this hopper with a block next to the honey block and a comparator facing away from the honey block on top of that. Note, if you want to use a chest here instead of a barrel, you can replace this block with a top slab. Now, hold shift and place a block in front of this comparator, and then around the back, place a redstone block here with a piece of redstone dust on top of it. Place three temporary blocks on these three sides of the honey block. Another temporary block so that you can reach up here. Place your dispenser right here. Then, go around to the back and place your other two hoppers on the dispenser and this temporary block, and these will be your inputs for empty shulker boxes and for your items. Place a redstone dust on top of this block, and then an observer facing that redstone dust, a piston facing down from that observer, and another observer next to that piston, like so. Finally, come up to the top here, place your other two redstone dust on the observer and the piston, and your redstone repeater set to four ticks on this last observer. Now you can get rid of all of these temporary blocks, and now all you have to do to start this is either place an empty shulker box right here, or after you've filled this up with empty shulkers, you can place a button on this dispenser and press the button to start the shulker box loader. Now, unlike my previous unloader design, this new and improved unloader design does in fact work with empty shulker boxes. Your shulker boxes go in this top input, and then the output is split between items here and empty shulker boxes here. Here is everything you need to make this shulker box unloader. First, place your two outputs. This left hopper will be for items and this right hopper will be for empty shulker boxes. Then place a block behind this right hopper and your two comparators are gonna go on top of this hopper and on top of that block. Now place a target block here with two redstone dust like this and then a block so that these don't connect. On the other side of this target block, place a dropper an observer, a sticky piston, and a redstone block like so. And behind this left hopper, you're gonna place an observer like this with a dispenser on top of it and a hopper on top of that. And it's very important that this is a dispenser and not a dropper. Next to this hopper, place a block, a piston, and another block on top of that. And lastly, come around the back, place an observer facing this hopper, another observer facing that other observer with a redstone dust below that, a sticky piston, and two blocks like so. Now before I show you these next two designs, if you found this video helpful in any way, consider subscribing and turning on the bell so you get notified for future uploads. These next two designs were created by two very talented creators, Borkon and Samos the Sage. I'll leave links to both of their channels in the description, but first, here are the designs. For this one wide tileable shulker box loader, here is everything that you're going to need. Now you can almost make this just by looking at the side profile, but what might not be apparent is that this is a dropper that leads into a dispenser. So first, you'll want to place your dropper leading into your dispenser. Then place two hoppers leading into that dropper with a barrel, a sticky piston, and an observer facing down. Now stand on top of this observer, place a temporary block on top of the observer, and place a hopper on top of that. Now you can get rid of this temporary block and place an observer facing that hopper on this side. Now for the output, leave a gap here with a barrel right there and a hopper running into it and place your comparator on top of that hopper. And last, place a block here with a redstone block on the other side of it, your two redstone dust on top of that, and while holding shift, place an observer facing that redstone dust. Once again, like the last design, in order to turn this on, you can either place a button here after you've loaded this with empty shulker boxes and press the button, or you can just place an empty shulker box right here. For the one wide tileable shulker box unloader, here is everything that you're going to need. First, make your output chest or barrel with a hopper running into that and a hopper facing down below that. 
This will be for items and this will be for your empty shulker boxes. Place a comparator on top of this hopper running into a block and another comparator on top of that block. Go on top of this block and place a dropper, an observer, a sticky piston, and a redstone block. Now place a block above this comparator and behind this one by holding shift and your dispenser facing down next to that block. Then using some temporary blocks, place a hopper on top of that dispenser for your shulker box input. Place an observer facing that hopper, another observer facing that observer, and a sticky piston facing down next to that. Lastly, leave a gap here and place a block here with an observer facing that block and a piston on top of that observer. And those were four designs for shulker box loaders and unloaders. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or join the Discord. Once again, a shout out to Borkon and Samos the Sage for making these amazing one wide tie level designs. And a special thanks to supporters of the channel. You guys are awesome and I appreciate your support tremendously. My name is Kale, subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.